With that courthouse story, the Garrahee Judicial Complex in Providence has been closed for now. A pipe broke. As a result, hearings were postponed, all of today's hearings. The complex houses several courts and offices, including district, family courts, and the Workers' Compensation Court. NBC 10's Sierra Putman is outside the building now. Sierra? Well, good afternoon. I'm here at the Garrahee Di Judicial Complex, more popularly known as Providence District Court. And I just finished speaking to a court official who tells me court will not reopen today. The earliest that it could reopen would be tomorrow. And if you look around, it doesn't really look like anything is happening at the front of the courthouse. But I've already been to the back and back there. There are tons of cleaning crews trying to fix what happened after this per pipe burst of people because they have lots of different court proceedings taking place inside this courthouse. These signs are on the doors are saying the court is closed due to a pipe burst. Craig Berkey with the courts tells me the burst happened around five this morning. A sprinkler went off on the third floor, filling the hallway with water. That water trickled down to the bottom floors and caused the elevators to stop working. Well, I'm disappointed because I needed to go in there today. It's so frustrating because I could actually here to get on how to cut uh, papers from my, uh, let's say from the claim court and also my child support stuff. And then now the place is closed. This is the only time I have due to business schedule. And so when are you hoping to reopen? Well, we're not sure. We're still assessing uh, the damage. And uh, obviously we want to get the courthouse open as soon as possible. It won't be today. Uh, we're going to try for tomorrow, but we won't really know until the end of the day and we'll, we'll have an update by the end of the day. And Berkey tells me that the biggest obstacle is getting those elevators back up and running again. The courthouse will not open today. The earliest it could reopen would be tomorrow. Stay tuned to NBC 10 News. We'll have the latest in this developing story. Reporting live in Providence, Sierra Putman, NBC 10 News.